Welcome back to Inside Arkham. My name is Charlie Crawl, and on the hotline with me is, this is a young lady that I have had so much fun following on social media over the course of the past couple of seasons, and she's now making her first start in the Arca Racing Series this weekend. She's going to be with Venturini Motorsports, driving one of those powerhouse cars this weekend at Toledo Speedway. Natalie Decker, welcome to the show, and you have to be super excited to be hopping in uh, one of those Venturini cars this weekend in the Menards 200. Yeah, thank you for having me, and I'm so excited. I've been in North Carolina for the past week, hanging out with Ventrini Motorsports, getting fitted in the car, at Butler, getting my seat done, all this fun stuff, and I cannot wait to go to the racetrack with them. Now, you spend a lot of time racing late models. It's going to be a, a bit of a different uh, type of automobile this weekend, not not something you're used to, slinging one of these heavy ARCA cars around. Uh, are you going to have a chance to test this car before the race this weekend, or are you going to come in and do it cold turkey? Yes, I'm going to be testing... Um, and we're actually testing at South Boston. Okay. So I'm, that's what I'm really nervous about, actually, <laughs> just because it'll be my first time in the car. But I'm super excited about testing. Just like you said, I've never driven anything like it before. So to be able to test before the race is huge. So how do you acclimate yourself other than testing which is going to be a big step for you tomorrow um, how do you acclimate yourself how do you adjust to this big heavy arca style race car who have you been talking to on what to expect and and what not to expect when you start driving one of these well i definitely have been talking to billy ventrini a lot and my crew chief dave and kyle my crew chief from back home other race car drivers i've been watching a lot of youtube videos but the biggest thing that I like and that I think is what's going to help me the most is just talking to people who have ex- have experience with mm-hmm. these cars and just to hear what they say and get their advice. That's what I think is going to help me the most. Now, I'm going to th- throw back to something that was before you were born, probably Days of Thunder. We obviously remember the line in the, show, in the movie with Tom Cruise saying, well, you, I just watched ESPN. Their coverage is excellent. That's how I, I know what to do. Um, you mentioned watching YouTube videos. When you're watching uh, videos of past races and maybe some past in-car videos, what are you looking for and what are you picking up when you're watching those things? Um, well, I watched... Pocono and Toledo those are the two I watched Mm -hmm. a few times and I just really uh, like I actually watched the race Mm -hmm. they you know record it and put it on YouTube Mm -hmm. so yeah I was just watching for you know the line you couldn't really tell where they're lifting picking up the gas and Mm -hmm. stuff that's in car camera stuff which really helps a lot but really how they race each other and Mm -hmm. what they're doing and you know from the first lap until lap 50, it's going to be a big difference. So I was just watching how everything changes throughout the whole race Mm -hmm. and how long the race is. Well, if you watch the race from Toledo last year, the pit reporter on that one did an excellent job, just just so you know. (laughs) 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 I'm I'm teasing. So we we are going to be uh, seeing you here at Toledo Speedway for your very first time here. Um, Is From what you have been able to pick up on that youtube videos that that you've been able to see are there any similarity similarities to some of the racetracks that you race back home in wisconsin yeah i race on a lot of different short tracks you know none of them are very similar to each other but short track with very just a few some are banked some are not banked so toledo is kind of just like another racetrack back at home but like I said, I've never been there, so it will definitely be new to me. I've only watched YouTube videos on it. <laughs> short track's a short track, though, right? Yep. Short track's a short track. <laughs> now, I've got to tell you, um, I had the chance to meet you at Salem, and you you don't have that burly race car driver look to you. I'm just going to let you know. Um, <laughs> but I have a feeling that you're not going to be taking too much crap from some of these drivers once we get started. How, how do you... How do you anticipate getting in there and mixing up with some of these guys? Is this something that, that you're comfortable with, or would you rather not swap paint if you didn't have to? Well, you know, when my helmet is on and I'm in the race car, I'm just another race car driver. Mm-hmm. And I, I will be a rookie, so I'm going to have to gain respect from other drivers mm-hmm. who've been racing um, in this series longer for me. And, you know, racing clean 
and doing well in these ra- these three races I'm going to be doing will help me gain respect faster. I always like the Mark Martin school of uh, thought on this is I'm, I'm going to race you the way you race me. And uh, I, I really think that we've got a lot of drivers in ARCA that do that right now. So I don't anticipate too many too many issues with that. But uh, uh, it's, like I said, it kind of threw me a little bit when I saw you at Salem. Because obviously I follow you on social media. I'm a big fan of yours on social media, as a matter of fact. And, and kind of knew what to expect uh, to see you. But it, it, it's completely different when we see in person and uh, i'm actually looking forward to seeing you get out there because we did have some female drivers last year particularly with venturini uh that were not afraid to mix it up with the boys and i don't i think that's something that i would really like to see is uh when we, we need a female winner here in arca what do you think well i hope i can be your female winner let's do it <laughs> let's do it um now speaking of female winner i mean obviously you're not coming to the racetrack to run second um when, when how do you put yourself in in a frame of mind to come out and and maybe go chase that checkered flag here in your first start yeah well it is isn't my first start so i'm going there with my expectation of me running in the top five I, that's where mm-hmm. i expect myself to be um a win would be great that mm-hmm. would probably be the greatest moment of my life <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I just got to go there and try, do my best, try my best. And, you know, it's my first time racing with Venturini Motorsports and working with the 25 team. So it's going to be a big learning curve. What are some of the things that you've already picked up? You've spent a week down there with them. And, and I've got to tell you, I mean, I've been around the Venturinis a lot the past four or five years, and I think they're some of the greatest people in racing. Um, I have a feeling that they've imparted some wisdom on you already. What are, what are some of the things that you've picked up in your week with them so far? Yeah, I've learned a lot um, talking with Billy and everyone, on, on especially the difference between the two cars, mm-hmm. that one back at home and the one I'm going to be racing here and how different it is. And I really, when I was in Salem, when I met you, I learned a lot there, watching, sitting on the pit box, listening on the radio, coming in for pit stops. I learned so much when I was there. And I'm so glad I went there to learn all that and see all that before I go to my first race. Yeah, I'm imagining you probably haven't done too many hot pit stops in your racing career. Is that is that a safe assumption? Yeah, I've never done one before. <laughs> so that will be very new to me, too. I think they... All, all the, I've, I've done pit stop practice before. I used to be the dummy that held the held the wheel and uh, hold the brakes. That's what they used to yell at me, <laughs> me for back in the day. Hold the brakes, dummy. The I, brakes. I have a feeling that you've got that covered. You're this is why you're the professional race car driver and and I'm the radio host at this point, right? But um, <laughs> so we're gonna come out. And we're gonna race Toledo. What are you looking forward to throughout the rest of the year? Where are we gonna see you again in action here in the Arca Racing Series? You're going to see me at Elko then on June 3rd, and then the week after that, we race Pocono. Nice. So we've got you in the next, like, three out of the next four races, I think, we're going to be seeing you here in the ARCA Racing Series. Very cool. And I'm assuming this is something that you'd like to maybe come and do a little more of next year? Yeah, next year, to run a full season would be great. That, that would definitely be something I'd want to do. Now, where can people follow you on social media? I've been teasing people enough about this. You do have a great twitter account where can we follow you on twitter thank you my twitter account is natalie racing and then my instagram is natalie decker and well with my facebook is natalie decker too but i have a website natalie and you can find all the links to all my social media on there excellent excellent well we look forward to having you here at toledo speedway this weekend good luck in your test at south boston and uh hey take it to those boys this weekend will you I will for sure. Thank you. You got it. Natalie Decker, she'll be driving for Venturini Motorsports this weekend.